I'm gonna take you back home. home. I'm gonna take you back home where you can uh, you, get yourself some cup noodles. Or something. You want to take me Thanks. home? Yeah, I'm gonna take you home. I look like this you in your car right now, and you want to take me home. Yeah, I'm take you, home. you sure about that? Oh yeah, absolutely. And you can you can get any other day, right? Just like you said, you can get any dude to come and pay for your meal and take you out and wind down you, right? You can you can get that at any so, time, right? So now we're not going on the date because you don't want to pay more than Starbucks. Oh, it's not bad. It's, the money's no option. So it's if just... money's no option, then why aren't we going on the date? <clears throat> like an actual date. Because one, you trying to put me on blast. Like you got your phone out filming this inter interaction right now. Okay, For because what reason? I thought I was getting pranked at this point. Okay. okay. Like it feels like it's not real because I've never had a grown man take me to Starbucks for a date. What is this, grown, high school? You never had a grown man in general because, uh, you know, you acting really unappreciative. Like you expect me to take Are you, you to some five star restaurant right out the gate. You know what? I'm going to do you one better. I'm not even going to take you home. Not, what? Any any dude can come and get you and take you out, right? Okay, cool. Let me get, let me go ahead and make sure that's the case. Um, we will pull over right Are here. Are you serious? Right? Yep, You're go ahead not and get out. serious. Right? Are you? Go ahead and get out. <laughs> you know what? Yep. Whatever. Go back on your profile. Ask one of them dudes to pick you up. Take you out. Ladies, this man right here is broke. He's broke. Look mm -hmm. at it. Folks, this is Jeff with this group and JTT. I'm dressed in this um, this is like you know military color tan is that most military guy wears in terms of shirts. The reason why this military color shirt because we deal we deal with a very combative female who this guy kicked out of the car. She why is that? Well, if you listen carefully, she got the act like she could get a date with anybody anytime, and she's having a hissy fit because. The, this young this young man is taking her to a date to Starbucks and she's feeling in her feelings about that. So what she does, she put him on blast on the phone. Let me check real quickly. It's probably my fiance. Yes, it is. I gotta tell her I love you. I gotta tell her I love you, so she knows what I do. Hugs and kisses, of course. Well, long story short, thank God I have a woman who's. Way more wonderful for that of a young lady who try to act like she's a 10. For starters, she acts like she's a 10. The first few years she knows what she said, oh, look at me. You're going to take me out. You're going to take me to Starbucks? Look at me. Sounds familiar. Sounds like the Cheesecake Lady who don't like the Cheesecake Factory. Oh, look at me. Look at me. I got a good look at her. She's cute. She's a good looking woman, but she's not a 10. She's like a 5, maybe a 6 at best. And this is the entire attitude that a lot of these women think. Number one, they think they're 10. Here's the problem with that. When they think they're 10, they think they deserve the best of the best, the creme de la creme. For heaven's sakes, the guy is trying to get to know you. You're not worth a five-star dinner. And I'm glad the guy chose, like, you know, take the Starbucks, but she thinks she'll get something more expensive than Starbucks. Like what? And I'll, I'll laugh if she, he would try to take it to Cheesecake Factory and she have a problem with it. No, no, no. So the guy's saying, you know what? I drive you home. Now, here's the thing. The guy at the Cheesecake Factory at least drove her home. And the guy who did with the woman who snubbed the idea of going to um, Olive Garden, he may have got out the car. The guy said, you know what? I'm not driving home at all. He's like, you know what? And this is her attitude. Her attitude is like she could get any man she wants to take it anywhere she wants. So, you know what? Go back to your profile and get one of these dudes to take you out. Say she got some of the guys supposing your DMs. And then she tried to shame him, saying, like, you know, oh, look at this guy. He's broke. Number one, I'm not a car expert, but you see the interior of this guy's car, especially the moonroof. I've never seen anything that spacious. This ain't no tight, cramped up car. I don't think, I want to say it's an SUV, but I'm not sure. But the moonroof is roomy. It's not no cheap car. It is not a cheap car. And she's trying to, you know, from all that digging, I'm like, he's broke. No, he's not broke. He's not broke, but you, in terms of manners and being agreeable, you're broke right off the bat. And you think that guys go after you? If guys go after you, it's going to be for one reason and one reason only. And it's not for the long term. And it's not for the wiping you up.
Mm. I'm going to say this one video because I got something special for her. A other woman like her with the same type of mentality. But for now, this woman sounds like she belongs on a class with the sprinkle sprinkle lady who is the teacher. Guess what? In terms of being smart on the first date, you flunked. You hurt me, you flunked. You get an F. Have a good day.